So who puts out the fire? Not the cows. Oh no, not the cows! You know, the Grim Reaper is having a good day when you think about it. That's four souls in the same household who doesn't even have to travel. Hi, it's Ryan, your boy. Welcome back to my channel. The last part was, I think, an embarrassment. Um, I don't even know if I decided to upload that part. But in case I didn't, I'll tell you what happened. We went around trying to meet the neighbors and get their signatures to repeal the paper bag monstrosity that is plaguing the Newcrest community that they voted for. Oh, maybe that's why they don't want to repeal it because they all voted for it. Wow. I don't want to waste any time. I just want to dive right the F in to this Sims 4 Kamahuchi Kamschlinger Dingle What's. Subscribe to me. I'm poor. Let's get into it though. So. I mean, I can't accurately show this on camera because I'm, I'm, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of Miss Mondo. We are about to just kick him out. We've done our due. Juno called and told us that we need to try to be nice to this fool because he's been saying some real nasty stuff about us since we slept with his husband and got pregnant or whatever. And now his husband is dead. His sister is dead. His daughter is dead. If you can see Corbin, who I knew was going to be safe, and Brian, who surprised me because he wasn't supposed to survive, are now living in here because, like I said, everyone that they lived with has died. So now Miss Mondo here is a single father of two and he is still choosing to be the nastiest person in the world. Uh, so, you know, I said, you know, I, I'm not going to live in this house with negativity. I mean, if he does not want to try to mend bridges, well then F his architecture. Okay, I don't need his construction company in my life. Taylor, you're dead. You're dead. I did become friends with Connor and I plan on banning him, but you, you, you're dead. So I said, you know what, F it. Let's just fast forward through the diagonal pregnancy. We're going to have this little baby or whatever. We're going to give it to Taylor. No, to, what's this man's name? To give it to Miss Mondo. Because to be honest with you, Miley does not want... I don't even know if I'm in the frame. I'm so upset. Miley does not want to raise this daggone baby. This was not in her plan. This is not what she ever aspired to do with her life. Not this early at least. So you know what? We're done. We're done with his shenanigans. We're going to freaking throw out this baby and call it a daggone day. I'm not even going to send her to the hospital. I'm not going to send her to the hospital. She's not going to get a bassinet. She's literally about to birth this baby in this swimming pool over here and call it a daggone day. I do not have time for the shenanigans that Ms. Mondo was giving to us right now today. We're trying to be a good person and he does not want to hear it. Oh, there is a bassinet here. I haven't wasted all this daggone time. Whew, Mr. Who, Ocean Sea, he did a great job with this house. Had us prepare for everything we even know. What she could have been had his baby 10 years ago. I'm sitting here pissed off. She's taking naps all day on day. <clears throat> it's a boy. Ethan, I don't even want him to have a... What was his last name? Pendleton? That's not, it's not even how you spell it. Get out my tum tum boy and go on somewhere. I don't know where y'all stand, but y'all need to go on somewhere freaking else. I'm tired of these people being in my daggone house. Now, I'm sure he's going to be a bright young lad, but I simply do not have the time. Okay, so I've calmed down somewhat, but to be honest with you, I'm still a little bit upset about just everything that happened with Miss Mondo. You try to do a nice thing for somebody. You really do. And they ain't been, they ain't been doing nothing. Like, we either ruined his life, gave him a whole baby that he wouldn't have had otherwise without us, and he still has the nerve to try to treat us like trash, like the lowest scum of the earth. I cannot with him. It's people like him that just cannot accept nothing. Like we gave him a whole life, a whole baby that he gets to love and cuddle and raise as his own. And he's just still acting like we haven't given him squat. Like we didn't give him a pot to piss in. I can't. So because we're so upset, we're going to take our frustrations, our sexual frustrations out on this man. You better... What's this word? Subscribe to what I'm giving to you, Mr. Connor. I don't care if you're married. Married men is Miley Malibu's brand, and you fit that bill completely. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Kiss his daggone hands. We're about to make. I, I, I just. She needs release. She needs release. She, well, she needs to keep this a secret from that woman because we need to secure her votes is what needs to happen. So maybe we can take him back to the... Uh, no, because our house is dirty. Our house is a complete pigsty. He would not be impressed if he came to our house. Miss <laughs> Pancakes? Who are you talking to? I'm about to go to her house and blow it up. She know I gave that daggone baby away. She don't want to be pregnant. 
congratulations on the new addition to the family. She's trying to shame us is what she's trying to do. And she doesn't understand that we're not in the mood for this shenanigans today. You know what? I'm, I might pay a visit to Miss Pancakes today after I get finished ruining this marriage. We... Now, my thing is, I don't want her to see this because I need to get her on the good side. Uh, so maybe, maybe we can come into this restroom here and just do a little doozle -wutzel. It's on the complete other wing of the house. She's not going to know. See, he, they, they went in two opposite directions so they wouldn't be caught. Even in the shower, he has this paper bag on. You're not going to see this man's face. And his face will not be seen. So I guess it's safe to say that she has secured his vote in the upcoming election starting on Friday. Thank you for your work. Um, how's, how's your wife? How's the missus? You know what? We'll deal with her on a different day. We'll deal with her on a different day. I don't even care about that right now. We're going to pay a visit to Miss Pancakes because she she thinks she's slick. Oh, look who's here. Bryant Pendleton. That son of a gun. Is she pregnant? So we can't fight her? Oh, Eliza. Eliza, you just... She thinks she knows it all. She thinks that she's figured it out. Okay, Eliza. You know what? Fine. You you, you be pregnant. When's this baby due? I, I, I don't think I can see this. She's in her second trimester of pregnancy. I don't know how many days she has to go. Okay, Eliza. You may have won this round, but you will have your time. This boy has no upbringing. This is why we didn't like him. Boy! She says, now I know your dead daddy raised you better than that. You are a piece of trash. Miley is not a likable person at this moment. Maybe I did too much. Let's bring that. I'm not going to apologize to him. He shouldn't have been. You know, he is kind of cute. You know what, Brian? Maybe you can stay. Maybe we can take you under our wing, you and your brother, because y'all need a strong female figure in your life. And Miley is just not afraid to do whatever needs to be done. You would have seen this girl got into a fight had Eliza decided not to get, not to get knocked up before the meeting as a way out. But she will not do that the ward is pregnant now. Miley did it first and better. She honestly did. Then both of these daughters of God. They simply can't compete. So I feel like, and again, you can't see his face because we need, we need to get these paper bags done away with. Which is partly why I feel like the next few parts we're going to be cosplaying as a normal person. Maybe we can have like a dinner party. I feel like normal people do that. Um, you know, these go out to these little events and stuff and just go out and do karaoke with different people that live in our neighborhood. So we can foster a friendship so we can manipulate them to do what we want to do. Which is to get rid of this stupid paper bag thing. It's just insane to me. Um, but I do feel like I would like, I think she's taking Jake more of like a personal thing. Like, you know, obviously she was just feeling messy. And so she just slept with Taylor and did it in front of Armando and then antagonized him. Duh. She was just upset about the whole Miss Mondo thing that she gave the baby up and then went and uh, slept with someone else's husband secretly, but also to secure votes. So it can be argued that it's for greater good. There's a reason this time. I feel as though Jake Preston is actually somebody that she would want to take more seriously. She might still be a little bit shysty, not completely trustworthy, but I mean, you know, just just uh, something more, you know? So that's what I want to build and foster with this right now. Now there is somebody else we're going to introduce, and we're going to tie my St. Cloud legacy into this series, so this will kind of sort of double as you could say like no I'm not gonna say all that because then it's gonna give away things that I plan on doing and sometimes you know I just wanna be keeping secrets I don't need to be knowing all that because then why would you watch so that's what we're gonna do uh, and I said what I said let's make our move to this paper bag wearing man let's kiss that crooked black line on his face Yo, she's been having lots of first kisses she's first kissed pretty much everyone in the second neighborhood now she's gonna leave uh, Sheila's husband alone because her and Sheila they're like this not necessarily but she gave us the signature without a second worry she didn't even think about it she just gave us that sig nature not Gret. um and so we appreciate that a lot now am I gonna ask him to be our boyfriend that's very soon I mean what would she lose by that like mm, girl do it show Miss Mondo that you are moving on to something serious you're dating a nice man wearing this nice little coat uh, very comfortable pants look like and a paper bag. He has this nice little 
a color aesthetic going on, and so we appreciate everything that he's showing us, honestly. He's showing us a whole new world, and we're here for it. Connor, um, to go over and hang out. So, girl, Connor, when I woohooed with you, it was strictly business. It's not anything serious, to know that. Um, I was going to propose to him immediately because, I mean, Miley just lives a life, but I'm actually going to wait to do that. Because, like I said, there's something else that I would like to do instead. So they're fun there. Uh, is there a place that they can just, you know... Now listen, Risk Woohoo is on 7%. Uh, I played um, in my personal, in my, my current household. They had woohooed about 30 times before anybody conceptualized any kind of life inside. So I don't think the girl has anything to worry about. If she gets pregnant again, we'll then ding it all to heck. Just ding the whole thing all to heck. I really do want them to get engaged, but not now necessarily. It was. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Ethan Pendleton, our newborn son, who we immediately wiped our hands of, said I heard you and date started dating her son's new boyfriend. If your newborn baby is congratulating you on a new relationship, you have already made so many mistakes in your life. You really need to take time to just. You know, take inventory on what is important to you. Look at your priorities and say, what does it say about me as a person? I don't even know what to say. Because I am honestly still just a little bit on edge from the whole Miss Mondo fiasco. I don't know what to say. Listen, I'm very, very sorry about all the loss that you experienced in one day. But freaking, this is not about you. This is about Miley Malibu. And so you need to just align to her, to the way that her planets are aligning. And so pay, pay attention to that because you're being selfish. I mean, ooh. Gave him a whole baby, y'all. A whole baby. And he didn't text us. Thank you. He didn't say nothing. Even our own son, who was just born and can't even operate a cell phone, texted us congratulating us that we found a nice little fling with Jake Preston and Armando Pendleton a grown man cannot even say thank you out of his own two lips I listen I will see y'all next time I'm uh uh you can't do that you are no you are shooting that through the walls nuh uh